Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna take a look at how to create a really simple but really effective text animation right inside of Premiere Pro. It's really easy, so let's take a look. So the effect we're gonna be creating was inspired by this template from MotionArray.com. I've left a link in the description so that you can take a look at it for yourself. There's a bunch of different drag and drop animations as a part of this, but we're gonna be creating this effect in particular. And the best part is that it's all gonna be done in Premiere Pro with two native effects in less than five minutes. So let's open up Premiere Pro and learn how to create this effect. Okay, so the first step is actually just to create our text. So hit Control or Command T and type in what you want it to say. I'm just gonna make mine say Motion Array and then I'm gonna change up the font to something that I like a little bit more. Next up, let's resize it here. And we can also hit our horizontal and vertical align tools to get it perfectly centered. Great. Now, eventually we're gonna have three pieces of text. So let's just duplicate this here two times by holding Alt or Option and clicking and dragging this layer up twice. So now we can also visually keep in mind that these will be our three layers, bottom, middle, and top. Now we're gonna be adding an effect called Offset. Look for it under your effects panel, under Video Effects, and in the Distort folder, and add it to either the top or the bottom layer. I'm gonna add it to the top layer here to start. From here, we're gonna be doing all of this to just the top layer. I'm just gonna simply create an animation moving its position over the course of a few frames. So set a keyframe for the shift to center parameter so that now we have a keyframe here where it's at the center. And now we're gonna move forward a few frames and move the text upward. And this is what it looks like so far. Not crazy, but we're gonna make it look a lot more fluid by right clicking this last keyframe and selecting temporal interpolation, ease in. And if you want even more control, you can go to this drop down here and then move the graph value so that it slows down even more gradually. Play around with the position of the keyframes and see what feels right for you. Once you've got the look that you want, we're gonna add another effect called Echo. Add it to your text, and you can see that the effect is trying to make something happen, but it's not even close to what we're going for. So we're gonna need to dial this in a little bit more. So let's go here to Effect Controls and adjust the look. You can play around to see what you like best, but if you wanna just copy me, you can key in the following. Echo time, negative 0.065. Number of echoes, six. Starting intensity, leave it at one. And decay, 0.8. Then set the echo operator to minimum. And there you go, you've got half of the effect. But the other half is super easy. We can just actually copy the work we've already done here. Hold Alt or Option and click and drag this over top of your bottom layer, completely replacing it. Now you only need to change one thing. Go to the offset parameter and move the center point down so that it's on the opposite side of your center text layer. The key here is to make sure that while you're doing all of this, your playhead is over top of the ending keyframe of this animation so that you don't accidentally add another keyframe by mistake. So you can click on these buttons here to go backwards and forwards through your keyframes to make sure you're on your final keyframe exactly. Now move this parameter to move the position of the text down and position it to be exactly the same distance on the opposite side of your middle text. Great, that looks awesome. And the echo actually responds accordingly. But we can do one more stylistic thing and really make it stand out. Right now, all three pieces of text are the same. So we can create a little bit of separation by changing the style of the top and bottom layers. Highlight your top layer here and go to Essential Graphics and highlight your text layer. Now go down to your fill layer and uncheck it and check the stroke section instead. Do this for both layers and you're left with this. I really like this look personally. And if you wanted to take it another step further, you can even use an effect like this to incorporate it into your project. Like for example, we could take this clip of a guy wearing sunglasses and stack it to separate him from the background. And by jiggling around these layers a bit, placing the middle layer on top, and then the top and the bottom layers underneath. We can rotoscope or key out the subject and create this 3D feeling piece of footage. Nice. And guys, like I mentioned before, this effect is part of a preset pack from Motion Ray where you can easily drag and drop effects like these onto your text. It's as simple as this. Duplicate your text and place the corresponding effect on each piece of text. Bottom, center, and top. And there you go, it's just that easy. 
and I've left a link in the description below so you can take a look at that template for yourself. Guys, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're able to use this text animation in one of your upcoming videos. And in our previous tutorial, we mentioned that we're gonna be drawing one lucky winner for a free three month subscription to Motion Array. And we've done that draw and the winner is Beck Backler. Congratulations, you've won three free months at MotionArray.com and I've already reached out to you to get you set up with those details. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.